What is going on everybody? EA released two new blogs today, Wednesday, July 26th on Madden 18 ratings. They revealed the top five rookies and the top five quarterbacks. I just wanted to go over that real quick. We're going to start off with the rookies right there. You see a picture of Leonard Fournette, so a little bit of foreshadowing. So number one, the number one rookie is Miles Garrett. No surprise here. Uh, the number one pick in the draft, basically a freak of nature at defensive end. Um, basically, pretty much going to be kind of like a, in my mind, a Jadavion Clowney type of guy. Pretty quick for a defensive end. A lot of strength you see right there, 96 strength. He's going to be a great pass rusher. Now for regs, obviously he plays for the Browns, so nobody's going to use the Browns in regulars. But his item in much should be pretty decent, and he'll probably be uh, getting upgrades throughout the year. And I think that's kind of where he reminds me of Clowney. Clowney had a base gold, I think, 79 this past year, uh, but got many upgrades throughout the year. And I think Miles Garrett could go on a similar course. Now, number two, this was a surprise for me. Number two, OJ Howard, tight end for the Tampa Bay Bucks. Now, 87 speed, 90 excel, 82 agility, 75 strength. Uh, you're going to see that they have the same attributes, awareness, speed, acceleration, agility, strength for everybody, no matter what position they play. But... OJ Howard, freak of nature at tight end, basically a wide receiver, six foot six, I believe, six five six six. So, six five six six guy playing tight end in a wide receiver body, wide receiver speed, and he can run block. So you're not trading off, you know, having a big guy who can run and catch for, you know, sixty run block. He should have decent run blocking. They talk about it down here. Wasn't the only freak athlete. Howard is prototypical tight end with size, speed, catching ability, and blocking prowess. He played for Alabama in college, so you know, basically you have to know how to block if you want to play for them. But 82 overall, uh, that was really high, and the Bucks, although in regs won't be super competitive, they will have a fun offense with Mike Evans. Now they have Deshaun Jackson, O.J. Howard, Vincent Jackson, but in Mutt, I think O.J. Howard will definitely be one of the most used tight ends, at least right out the gate. In terms of he'll probably be a pretty decent budget option and be one of the better receiving tight ends in the game. So number three, we got Leonard Fournette running back out of LSU, 76 awareness, 90 speed and acceleration, 86 agility, 83 strength at 81 overall. Now Fournette, basically just really good balance running back, pretty quick, 90 speed. In Mutt, you can probably expect them to be kind of high 80s, probably like 88 speed if I had to guess. But you see right here, he's got a truck rating of 92. In Mutt, you could probably expect high 80s again right there, maybe like 89, maybe a 90. But usually in Mutt, they dole down the ratings a little bit. I think they revealed in the Rookie Premier promo that Fournette's base card will be a 78 overall. So you can probably expect a slight hit to his ratings. But I think Fournette will be as effective as trucking backs are next year. Um, trucking backs were obviously the best option this past year. So I'm waiting to see if EA made took any measures to kind of nerf trucking backs and bring more skill-based elusive backs back into the limelight. But if trucking backs are anywhere near as good as they were this year, next year, then Fournette should be one of the better rookie running backs, probably the best rookie running back by far, actually, and one of the better running back options to start the game out in Mutt. Number four, Jamal Adams, strong safety for the New York Jets. So another LSU product here, 81 overall, 91 speed, 90 acceleration, so pretty quick out there. And they say in the little bio here that they gave him 90 hit power. So I could see him becoming kind of like this year's Landon Collins. Um, he definitely has potential to make plays on that Jets defense since he's one of the only bright spots. And um, at least in the secondary. And uh, Jamal Adams has been getting a lot of hype around him lately. So definitely a player I think they're going to look uh, to try and give cards to and to try and upgrade. So he could definitely be a huge factor in what going to be one of the better Options just kind of a very balanced prototype safety uh, to start the year out with. Now in regs, once again, Jets not really a viable team, but he, he is one of the few bright spots. If you're an LSU fanboy, uh, then I could see you going with the Jets to maybe user Jamal Adams and wreak some havoc around the field. Now number five, this was the biggest surprise of all for me, Christian McCaffrey. So 81 overall, 91 speed, 92 excel, 96 agility. And they said down here they gave him 75 catching, which is top 7 for running backs, and 93 juke and 87 spin move. So basically just the prototypical elusive scat back out the backfield for McCaffrey. On the Panthers, I don't know how relevant the Panthers will be in regs. 
if at all. But definitely in Mutt, you can expect McCaffrey to be one of the better receiving backs coming out the backfield. Along with guys like, you know, obviously they mentioned here Le'Veon Bell, David Johnson. But other guys like Ty Montgomery out the backfield, Danny Woodhead. Guys like that, I think that's where you kind of lump Christian McCaffrey in with. So it'll be interesting to see how he kind of fits into that mold. Now honorable mentions, Dalvin Cook, 80 overall, one below Fournette McCaffrey. So Cook... Kind of a more of a balance back right here. They draw the comparison for net power. McCaffrey is shifty. Cook is a balance. So he'll be an interesting item. And then John Ross with the Cincinnati Bengals. 98 speed in regs. So that's a huge deal in Mutt. He'll probably get 94 or 95 would be my guess. Probably about probably about 94. I think 95 would be a little too high. I would guess 94. Which will be huge when you start off the year. Going up against all these corners who basically have like high 80s, maybe low low 90s speed, depending on how EA uh, divvies out the stats this year. But he's going to have a monumental speed advantage to start off the season and will probably be, you know, a mid to high 70s overall gold card. But expect him to be worth a ton. So quarterbacks. So top five quarterbacks. Once again, you see Tom Brady here. Obviously, Brady's going to be number one, 99 overall. Basically... Uh, does everything. I don't like how they use the same uh, stats here again. Awareness, speed, acceleration, agility, and strength. No one really cares what these guys, or at least quarterbacks, agilities and strengths are. Uh, I think they would have been better off doing throw power and throw accuracy personally. But you can see Brady very aware, 99 awareness, uh, but <laughs> low and mid 60s on everything else. But you can expect him to have a strong arm and basically perfect accuracy. Aaron Rodgers coming in number two. Once again, I think Rodgers will be the best regs QB in the game uh, just because he'll be able to make pretty much every single throw Brady can make, but along with that 79 speed. So he gives you the mobility, he gives you the cannon, he gives you the throw accuracy. He's the complete package. He'll be the best regs quarterback once again and probably the best mutt quarterback to start off the year. Number three, the MVP Matt Ryan. So 96 awareness, 72 speed, a little slower than Rodgers, not as slow as Brady though probably 96 overall so you can expect him to be making a lot of the throws that the guys above him make um, I don't know if they'll give him the strongest arm so I think Rodgers will definitely have a stronger arm than Matt Ryan but Ryan will still be a great option and obviously the Falcons will be one of the best teams in regs and so having the third best quarterback on the game will definitely will uh, contribute to that along with having guys like Julio uh, you know like Mohamed Sanu uh, Tevin Coleman, Devonta Freeman, those guys on offense. The Falcons will once again have probably the best offense on the game to start the year in regs. So number four, Drew Brees, 92 overall, 99 awareness. So he shares that with Tom Brady. But you can expect basically probably low 90s throw power for Brees, really high short and medium, and pretty good deep. I think it's a shame that he's four overall under Matt Ryan. I know Matt Ryan won the MVP last year, but just... I mean, I I think Breeze in real life is better than Matt Ryan. I think you put Breeze on a team that has a halfway decent defense, and uh, he's probably like a top five QB all time, no questions asked. But that's kind of my personal opinion. But you can expect Breeze to obviously be able to make pretty much every short and intermediate throw. Might lose a little power on the long ball. So if you're kind of a gunslinger, maybe Breeze isn't your guy. But if you're a short intermediate pocket passer, then Breeze will definitely fit your style. Number five, we got Ben Roethlisberger, 91 overall, 90 awareness, 74 speed. So a little mobility. Ben's going to shake some tackles as well. 82 strength you see right there. So he's going to be a little tougher in the pocket, might shake off a few sacks, a little mobile, going to have that cannon. Uh, he's going to be able to throw the ball all over the field. So Roethlisberger really a complete package when it comes to rounding out the top five. And the Steelers also very good regs team offensively. Um, with Antonio Brown, Le'Veon Bell, you got Martavis Bryant, Ladarius Green, Eli Rogers, pretty solid receiving core. Um, so look for the Steelers to be one of the better regs teams once again along with the Atlanta Falcons. Honorable mentions, they mentioned Russell Wilson and Luck are both 90 or above. So those are two guys who um, Wilson probably won't have the strongest of arms, but will have kind of like Drew Brees-ish type of short and intermediate accuracy. Maybe not so much deep, but obviously brings that mobility, whereas Luck also brings the mobility. Might have a little more throw power than Russell Wilson, but a little less on the accuracy. Cam Newton, they say, starting off at 88. So the thing with Cam every year, he's pretty quick. Obviously, 
uh, the most physical quarterback. He's going to run some people over for you if you get into open space. But the knock on him is always he's got a cannon. But that deep accuracy is always really, really bad. They always put him in like the mid 70s. So look for him uh, to not have the greatest accuracy. Maybe try and improve that over the year. And then they mention a Dak Prescott. They don't mention his overall, but they mention that him and Des Bryant could link up. And, um, you know, if they kind of play off of each other and make a lot of plays and put up some stats, then they could be two guys to look to, to climb the rankings as the year goes on. So that's something. Dak, if I had to guess, would probably be about mid-80s. Pretty good accuracy, pretty mobile. Um, just won't have the best deep accuracy, perhaps. A lot of uh, his living last year was made off of the short and intermediate game, I feel like. So uh, I think they're right, though, in that he could definitely do some climbing as the year goes on and they update the rankings. But just wanted to talk about this with you guys, get your guys' opinions on if they got the top five rookies right, if they got the top five quarterbacks right. What do you guys think? I think the quarterback list was pretty solid. It would probably be my top five. If I had to make a top five rookie wise, I don't know about putting McCaffrey at number five. I would probably disagree with that. And I think OJ Howard at number two might be a little high, uh, but that's just my personal opinion. I think they definitely played to the skill positions in terms of the top five rookies. You got a tight end, two running backs, a strong safety and a defensive end. And then in the honorable mentions, uh, they put a running back and a wide receiver. So a lot of skill position guys in those top rookie players but let me know what you guys thought hope you guys enjoyed the video and until next time take it easy